Hey guys and welcome back to another RuneScape video where today I'm going to show you what I personally do for my herb runs and how I make probably an extra about 100k profit per run which is definitely something you guys should be using and it's slightly different to what you may expect so definitely keep watching if you're quite curious as to what this is. So in a basic nutshell in case you've never done a herb run before you have no idea what it is you pretty much go to the grand exchange find out which herb seed will make you the most profit by growing them and you go and grow them in the six herb patches around runescape usually it's around lantadimes or dwarf reeds that will make you the most profit which require 73 farming and 79 farming respectively which would definitely make you about 300 or so k profit per run and it only takes about five minutes per run so it's definitely worth using so before I go into details about how I make an extra 150k profit on my runs, I'll just talk about very quickly about the items I use. So I use the magic sequators which gives me a 10% boost to my herb yield. And I also use GG farming potion which gives me a 33% chance of picking double the herbs than usual. Which means just on those two items I'm making 43% extra profit than usual. Which is definitely worth using. And I also use the auras. The green fingers auras which will give you 3%, 5%, 7%, 10% and 15% respectively, you know, they do get more expensive as you go on, will give you a decent boost to your farming whilst doing herb runs which is definitely worth using. And also ages ago I bought the scroll of life which gives me a 10% chance of getting my seed back whilst doing, you know, farming which is definitely something I've been getting the benefits from in the long run. Because 10% is definitely a huge savings along the way, which pretty much means I'm making an extra 10% profit, which we're now looking at over 53% profit just on those items, which is definitely something worth using. And also Super Compost. It's great to use because it gives a high percent chance of your seed growing all the way to the end instead of dying halfway through. So you can make them yourself, you can buy from the Grand Exchange, it's really up to you, depending on which profit you prefer to make. It's only about 1k or so, in the Grand Exchange, but in the long run, you will definitely see the benefits to using it. So if you can, make sure to use it. So in total, there are six herb patches. One is in Prifdinus, which is pretty much east of the lodestone there. It takes about 15 seconds to get there. The next one is in Trollheim, which cannot be diseased. So don't really use a super compost here if you don't want to. Um, I use my home tab, which teleports me to the top of the Trollheim because I've chipped it. And then the next one can be found in Catherby. Just use the Catherby Lowstone, and there's another like five to ten seconds walk from there, and just head northwest. Then the next one can be found in Canafis. Once again, using your Ecto file to teleport there is another twenty seconds or so to get there. You should be able to do all of these in about easily under five minutes. So if you can do it under five minutes, that will be great. The next one can be found in Ardoin, just north of the city. I use my Ardoin cape from the achievements. It's such an easy way of getting there. It literally takes five seconds. So it's a such a great place to do. Now a quick tip, in case you have a full inventory of herbs and you don't know what to do with them and you don't want to bank, one of the best things to do is right click it, click use and use it on the leprechaun. He will note every single herb in your inventory, which means that it only uses up one slot instead of your whole inventory which is definitely a time saver and finally the patch south of Falador which one of the easiest ways to get that is by using your Lumbridge achievements reward the explorers ring and teleport to the cabbage patch and just head north and there's another like 10 seconds or so and you're there so such an easy way of getting there okay so the two extra patches I use while doing farming can be found in Alcarid so I just travel northeast of the Alcarid lodestone and there you can find a patch where you plant a cactus seed and it takes about nine hours to grow. Just check the health and it'll give you a decent farming you know, experience. And every nine hours you pick the cactus spine. It will make you an instant 30 profit or so, 30,000 profit from picking it. And you do not get rid of the plant. You leave it, you just pick this, the spines and you leave and you come back in nine hours and you'll pretty much be able to make another 30K instant. It takes literally under a minute, so there's no reason not to be using it. And the second patch I use is the Moschella Mushrooms patch, which can be found just like three steps north of the Canafis Fey Ring. Just use the Fey Ring code CKS, and that will teleport you there pretty much in seconds, and you're about three steps away. 
All you have to do is buy Moschella mushroom spores from the Grand Exchange. They only cost about 30 gold coins each. And you plant one at the Moschella mushroom patch. And you pretty much come back in about four hours. That's how long it takes to grow. And you'll be able to pick either eight or 19 Moschella mushrooms. They are priced at 5k each. So if you have completed the Mauritania elite tasks, you can pick 18, which means that that's an instant 100k profit. And if you haven't completed the elite tasks, you're only looking at about nine. So you're talking about still 45k profit, which is decent profit in just seconds. So using those extra two, you can easily make an extra 150k profit just by doing that each time you do a herb run. So it's definitely worth using. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. It is such an easy way of making money. Um, I'm talking about 350k profit from just about five to seven minutes work. So if you times that, you know, in the long run and blah, 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 we're easily looking at about four to five million profit per hour. You know, if you could do this constantly per hour. So it's definitely something to be worth doing and keeping your eye out for because you might not be able to see the profit instantly, but in the long run, you'll definitely be able to see the profits stacking up. So doing this every single day for about a week, you're talking about 7 million profit easily. And I only do it three times a day. And herbs take about an hour and a half to grow. So if you did it more times per day, you're looking at more profit per week. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Of course, if you have any questions, just post below. And I will see you guys tomorrow with another video. Peace out.